Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Remember after Team of the Year, those couple weeks and honestly the couple months where all the content just didn't seem good enough to get into our teams and that's really what led to a lot of the hype falling off of this game. Remember that? Well, Ultimate Birthday has changed that. Team 1, Week 1 with all the SBCs have brought some insane cards out, but continuing with Ultimate Birthday Team 2 yesterday and two massive SBCs that we had, these players are going straight into our teams, and there's more SBCs that look like that's how they're going to be juiced and boosted in terms of stats and play styles as well. So we got to look at that today. There's a lot to come, but also there's a lot that happened yesterday with the market, SBCs, evolutions, and objectives. So we're going to talk about it all. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's start off with objectives yesterday because I think the best dynamic image award goes to the objective card that we had yesterday and that is the ultimate birthday Savernier card. What a dynamic image. He's five star, five star. The stats aren't that incredible. Dead ball plus and long ball pass plus. But hey, for a free card, quote unquote free card for just playing some games of squad battles or if you're just getting it done with foot champs as well, you need three League One Uber Eats players and you're starting 11. You can get this done pretty easily to get some extra packs and a Savernier card. That dynamic image is just mint. So that was like the only objective that we had yesterday. Of course, a lot of us are probably still working on that daily play. The daily login today will take us to day 11. So on Sunday, we'll be able to get an 84 times four for that. So not a whole lot going on in objectives, but that's because there's a lot going on with evolutions and with SBCs. Let's talk about the Evos first. We had two really solid Evos yesterday. Just like last Friday, they dropped us two more. And let's start with a bigger one. The two-footed attack, it is free. We can once again do it twice and it is a weak foot upgrade with the power shot plus play style as a part of the finished upgrade on the card it is plus four pace four shooting um i think you actually get plus is it two passing three dribbling two physical and two defending so it's a bigger pace and shooting boost for the cards you put into it this is made for an attacker 100 right weak foot and the power shot plus which was nerfed technically in the last uh, patch that they did. I think it's still very good. Um, and when I look at my club, I don't see a ton of players that I'm like, wow, I got to get this Evo on these players. But I know some of you guys maybe have Evos in your club that it does fit. This Richarlison's a little bit tempting, but he already has the five-star weak foot. So it really just feels like if I'm doing this for Richarlison, I'm doing it so I can get him on the power shot. Plus, I have not decided who I want to do into this, but the number one card that everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people are doing with the two-footed attack Evo is Christian. Cristiano Ronaldo. He finally got an Evo, guys, and it does allow you to create a five-star, five-star Ronaldo with a little bit better pace and shooting, right? He goes to 81 pace and 92 shooting, but he doesn't gain any extra playstyle pluses or even any regular playstyles because Power Shot is his normal playstyle plus. So to me, this is not worth it, but if you just want to have a 90 rated version of Ronaldo and an Evo version of him, you can get this Ronaldo and put him in. I will say, he is not on the market. He is extinct. I think it's like 17,000 coins for his price. So you're going to have to pack him. And actually right now you can't pack him because he's a part of the re-release of the special cards that are in packs. So it's going to be pretty tough to get that Ronaldo if you don't already have one in your club. Now also through the uh, two-footed attack Evo, Kavicha is a card here that's showing up as a very popular one. As his 86 rated can go to a 90. He's already five star five star though, so I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, for me, this one, I, I like that it's free um, and you can create some pretty high rated cards inside of it too. It's a plus four rating overall. So I like that it's free. Not too much to talk about there. Let's go to the paid one that dropped yesterday i think this is actually the evo that potentially could give you an even more meta player we're looking at a um right or left back i mean technically it's made for left backs position left back cannot be center back and you get a really nice boost here plus four pace two shooting four passing five dribbling five defending and four physical it's a really really big boost it's not that many games but it does cost you 100,000 coins but you get whipped pass plus and whipped pass plus is very good and guys the best player out of this evo is this zambrata you can take base zambrata icon if you have him in your club or if you're lucky enough to snipe him off the market because he's extinct as well as all the good evos tend to be right um Basically, this makes him almost as good as his 2 million coin on the market um, foot birthday icon card that just dropped last week. It's not exactly the same. The shooting right is, is six off, but if you're playing him as a right back, 
it's basically similar, right? You even get the same play styles with Whipped Pass Plus and the Relentless that he has on the card. So if you're able to get your hands on a Zambrata, that is great. Bomb Pastor fits in this Evo as well. Uh, this is the 91 rated version of her upgrade to the 86. Is this card extinct? It is not. It's only 20,000 coins. But if you want to upgrade a version of Bomb Pastor, that one's pretty good. And also Basha. If you never did the Basha SBC earlier on in the year that is now a 90 rated card, this Evo can get you a card that is similarly uh, stat upgraded a little bit actually better 91 pace plus one dribbling and defending just a little bit lower on the physical um, and with the whipped pass plus so that's something you can do too there Alex Tellez looks decent out of this a Matty cash card what is this ah uh, it's, it's a double upgrade which probably most people don't have um, but that's cool right so they're not like earth shattering groundbreaking evos but they're nice right and if you're into the evos right now those are cards that you can create you can create some pretty nice cards from those evos so that was the content in evos and objectives now let's get to the big stuff all right let's get to the spcs and talk about first the spc that i skip over way too often that you shouldn't the rare electrum players pack that you can do every two hours or every three hours the ultimate birthday flash challenge it is very easy to do just do your daily gold upgrades get some commons turn them in 77 rated squad you get a nice tradable pack I sleep on those SBCs way too often, but don't be like me. Do those because you can actually get really good stuff from them. So that was released yesterday. We also had an 82 plus upgrade pack, which I don't think I'll do any of these unless I just want to stick some of my rare golds into this and try to get a higher rated card. I'm just going still with the 81 plus player picks going strong with those while they are still out because I think those are the best to do at this time. So that was dropped yesterday, the 83 times um, or the 83 plus player pick for team of the week was refreshed as well. But really the SBC content that we're excited about and hyped about are the two big player SBCs. And these are the SBCs that, I mean, went, this kind of took over yesterday's content. It was the SBC players that were nuts and it's true many and it is Ribéry. Let's look at show many first. He's got anticipate, sorry, not anticipate plus. He's got intercept plus and bruiser plus with 87 pace the pace upgrade on this card from his gold is insane and a lot of people are talking about the shua many sbc in correlation to his evos right he's had multiple evo versions that people have done and this card is a huge upgrade on those and some people were even saying that they have been using this shua many card the evo versions in their team even up to this point or until not too long ago right because it was such a good card because he has great play styles and this card as well with the boost insane stats that is a crazy crazy card he's got anticipate jockey um he's got relentless aerial and long ball pass as his regular play styles and then of course intercept and bruiser as play style pluses those are good his stats look unbelievable man they look so so good and he can also play center back which his work rates would allow him to play center back pretty well i think medium high with the five star weak foot the price is the problem and is the problem with ribbery as well 1.7 million coins and i will say it's going to take it's going to take a bit of an effort to craft this because it's 10 squads and there's only 13 days to do it as well. I hope they would extend this cuz that's a pretty short time for an expensive. That's basically an icon SBC you have to get done in 2 weeks. I think they should extend that for another week and make it 21 days, but maybe that's the whole point. Maybe they don't want a ton of people having this card, which is why they made it expensive. And uh made it out for not so long. I mean, it is a crazy boost from his gold card. And yeah, it's going to be an insane card, guys. I'm sure that it is. I have not watched any reviews on this. I don't know how good he is going to be in game, but I just, I know that he is going to be very, very good. It doesn't seem like it's technically worth the coins. It's only a 21% upvoted SBC, but it's such an insane card. It's just tempting, right? Um, I don't know. That one for me is definitely meta enough to go into a team though, right? That is definitely not a complaint that we have had with this birthday promo is that the SBCs have not been good enough. We've had the Coman, right? A lot of people in the last week have done Socrates, Roberto Carlos, Makalele, insane, insane SBCs for the players that have dropped. Definitely good enough to go onto our teams and kind of replace other players that maybe aren't good enough anymore with the power curve moving forward. And that's just what I see in that Chalmany card. Whether you play him at CDM or center back, insane insane item now the other card we had yesterday via sbc continuing the france theme on this game at least right now is franck ribery's team of the year icon card which man i know the price of this sbc is technically expensive if you want to say but compared to how much this card was just a couple of weeks ago this is not a terrible valued SBC because it is a absolutely insane card. Franck Ribéry is five star, five star with two of the most deadly play style pluses in the game, technical plus 
and Finesse Shot Plus. I did the loan version right away because I have not used Ribery this year. And man, I, I'm so tempted to do this, guys, because I miss having that Finesse Plus in my attack. It's just hard to like... Do I really want to try and go out and craft a card like this and spend so much time putting all my fodder to a long grind of getting an SBC done like Ribbery that is 15 squads to get that done, including some very high rated squads, which we'll talk about here in a second. Is it worth it for me to go ahead and do this when I realize that we're only a month away from team of the season and putting probably five to 600K of pure coins into this SBC because it is so expensive, right? It's a 2 million coin SBC, guys. 2 million coins for Frank Ribéry. You know, I'm going to have to pay some out of pocket. I'm going to have to buy some 90s and 91s. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be in the same boat to finish off those higher rated squads, right? Is it really worth it? That's what I'm trying to juggle around right now. Again, everybody's in a different position with players that are in their team. And I'm not saying that this player does not go into my team if I don't want him to. He does. Ribéry definitely fits my team and is good enough to go into my squad, right? That's not the point is, do I want to actually spend the coins to go and get that card right now? Or would I just rather wait until team of the season when it'll still be out technically 60 days from now? This, this SBC is going to be here and it's craftable throughout at least half of team of the season because team of the season probably starts in 30 days or something like that. So it'll be out for the next half because it's out for 60 days. That's something to think through with this ribbery. I'm not saying it's ever going to be a card that falls behind the curve. It probably won't be. It just seems like a lot to be putting forward, but it is an insane card. So in my opinion, this is maybe a little bit of a better SBC than Shua Many, especially when I look at my team. Of course, I don't need a center back or a DM. Rolfo with that updated dynamic image yesterday. She is absolutely insane. Her and Hullet in the midfield is like perfect enough for me right now. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this guy Hullet. I know his stats like Chua Many blows his stats out of the water, but it's just Hullet in game is just different. So Chua Many tempts me because it's going to be a rare card and I know he's going to be good, but I'm going to have to watch some reviews and really figure out what I want to do and uh, and just go with it from there. I know this Ribbery is good. I had an absolutely insane Finesse shot with him yesterday, so we'll see, guys. But I like, at the very least, I like that we're having this conversation, that we have options and that we see high-rated, high-level upgrades for these cards that actually go into our teams. Because let's look back and be honest, for the past two months before this, we were like, man, can we actually get good SBCs? Can we actually get good SBCs for players that go into our team? Because a lot of us have still been using Sawa and all this stuff, and not until recently, maybe with the end of Fantasy FC, and then these cards coming out during ultimate birthday have we seen that so and it's continuing in the sbc's coming out today too so that's enough for the sbc's but that was the biggest part of the content yesterday in my opinion and let's talk about team two of ultimate birthday and the cards that are actually impacts that we are chasing at this very moment these are the cards and guys when i look over team two when we saw the team being posted yesterday because it was actually leaked ahead of time uh just a few hours before content and it wasn't a pure excitement factor where we didn't know the cards at all they were slightly leaked i think team one's better than team two but it's not to say team two is bad team two is just a little bit worse than team one there are some nice cards in here jonathan david just a shout a cheat beast this is an unreal card for 150K, 160K. First touch plus, Trivella plus, five star, five star with 92 shooting, 91, um, sorry, 91 shooting, 92 pace, and 89 dribbling. He's got finesse, chip shot, pinged pass, quick step, relentless. This is a nuts card. 95 positioning, 94 finishing. Unbelievable. I know the links aren't that insane, but uh, if you want a cheap beast to try out, try him out. And if you want an even cheaper beast, this Danjuma looks nuts for 25k. Power shot, rapid plus, finesse, incisive, whip pass, technical flare, first touch, and relentless. Also with 91 finishing. Unbelievable card for 25,000 coins. So there are some kind of cheap beasts inside of here. But then, of course, you have the Mudrik, you got the Mane, you have the Salad. They are expensive, guys. And these cards, um, they are rare. I've been trading with them already. I've picked up some Mudrik at 7. What did I buy them for? I bought Mudrik for a snipe of 750 and um, 780. And I just sold those for 887 for the weak foot version. And then I just picked up a skill moves version of Budrick as well on a snipe for 750 as well um, in these late night hours. And I think right now he is 800 and okay, there was an 820 that sold. He's 840. Yeah, so he's kind of, these cards are rare and they're bouncing around just like team one of Ultimate Birthday. These cards are rare. They're going to be fantastic to trade with. You're going to be able to make coins off of them. But I do think that they will drop later on today. I will say, 
I think there's some of them, a few of them, like maybe that Jonathan David or also potentially some of the icons, maybe Eder Militao, who is actually a lot cheaper and more packable than I thought he maybe would be comparing him to like Varane. I guess he's more of like an Araujo type price, but he's got a, a lot more on the market. I think he's going to end up being cheaper than Araujo looking at these the supply that he has on the market. Uh, these cards might go up a little bit today. This is what happened last Saturday, right? They were kind of low late Friday night. They went up into Saturday towards content time. Like, remember, Diogo Jota went from like a million coins to like 1.4 mil. And then they came back down after content into the evening as EA ran more lightning rounds. And his people finished off their weekly games and were like, okay, I'm done trying the new cards. And they sold them off. So I would expect almost this entire team and the icons to be lower in price later tonight on Saturday than they are right now. But I mean, the icons as well. I think the icons, there are some gems in here. Stoichkov is, is nuts. Uh, 7 million is way too steep for me, but that is a nuts card. Pele is extinct at 15. This is the best version of Ian Wright I think we've ever had an ultimate team. 95 pace, 92 shooting, and 91 dribbling. Great card. Five star skills and a five star weak fit version. But I just think that all these cards are going to end up being a little bit lower in price later on so just be careful if you're trading with any of those um or if you're chasing some of those in packs of course good luck but i think that's the situation with these they will be good to trade with but i think they will drop down so that's kind of one thing to watch out for that now let's talk about the rest of the market a little bit because you saw some other cards in my transfer list i mean yesterday with the content being what it was there was really good trades to be had foot birthday team one cards out of packs i flipped a blanc i flipped the de bruyne uh, the Marquinhos I picked up at 700, sold at 797. In for Messi, had some really good uh, flips on him. Um, the market yesterday was pretty steady, I would say. A lot of the Team 1 cards from Ultimate Birthday, they didn't crash or anything. Most of them are around the same price or even up. Uh, Rodrigo had a bit of a price rise because of the links to Chua Many and stuff like that. Uh, Kimpembe, with all the French hype, is up like 50K. He went up a lot yesterday. Sasha Bowie is up a lot. He's really rare. KDB's down a little bit. Saka's up. It's a mixed bag, but most of these cards are doing just fine. And the rest of the market as well, unless it was a card that got re-released, right? Again, we haven't mentioned that yet, except for Ronaldo. They did re-release a second batch of five-star best of, and these cards are down horrendous. But that's what you would expect, right? That is 100% what you would expect. They put a Neymar card in packs. I think we shouted the Neymar Ice or fire and we also shouted the ronaldo both those are in packs that was kind of to be expected right neymar yesterday went from 3.1 million all the way down to two and is now back up he's going to come back down guys these cards will since they're in packs for the whole week they will continue to go down in price in my opinion where's the uh cristiano ronaldo card for the winter wild cards 91 rated he is 968k what was he yesterday he was 1.4 now down 400,000 coins to 900k so you know cold palmer same thing zaire emery i would not be trading with these cards i think the best of number one was better with the mbappe and such uh but this best of re-release two with the name on ronaldo it's definitely not bad it's just maybe not 100 percent as good but those prices are down for sure the rest of the market's just mostly chilling in terms of prices uh still be very careful with that sort of stuff because we're getting very good SBCs, very good content coins are being drained uh from all of that content there and the evos right the more evos that we get that are paid specifically that are very good as we do have one leaked evo um you know there is some more movement downwards that could happen there but the market is i don't think gonna crash as much as a whole like we talked about yesterday during the weekend this weekend as it did last weekend. Now let's talk about fodder. And I think this deserves a little bit of a timepiece in the video today because fodder is all over the place. To be honest, the first thing we saw with fodder yesterday and we shouted this out live on stream was that the high rateds were going to go up because one of the things that makes the Shua Many and the Ribery SBCs more expensive and difficult to complete is the fact that they both have multiple 90 rated squads inside of them and also multiple 89 rated squads. Now you do get some nice packs back, right? But those are expensive and difficult to complete. And since fodder overall has been so low on the top tier, I think EA, to get the prices that they wanted to get for these cards, had to put in those really high tier squads. So yesterday, right at content, we were looking at uh, Erling Holland for like 43, 44K. And we were saying that's a really good buy. He went from 43K all the way to 52,000 coins. The high rated fodder, is moving the most those golds moved up a lot but some of them some of the special cards right that's why i was saying earlier in the week that i liked golds better for a quick movement these are going but they're not going as fast Aspas from 38k to 42 i think they're going to keep going though guys because those are the cards that people are going to have to continue to buy throughout the week 
to get these SBCs done. It's the 89s, the 90s, and the 91s. So I would expect these to keep slowly going up. I don't know if they're going to keep going, like they're going to spike or anything like that. I just think the spike on like the De Bruyne and the Holland yesterday, those cards going up like eight to 9,000 coins, that happened. For the rest of the time now, it's probably just going to be a slow rise as more and more people chip away at the Chilmeni and the Ribery because that's an icon of BC that a lot of people will probably try to chip away at for a while. Now, uh, lower tier fodder, it's down, right? 84 is back at 1.7. 85s are 5,500 coins. They are back down. They did have a little bit of a fluctuation up yesterday. They were up like 6.8. It went up to 7.6, and then the lightning rounds took over, and they have absolutely gotten destroyed. Now, those could actually go lower today. Those could go lower today. It all depends on what happens with this SBC, the 82 times 20? Will it go away and something else replace it or will it come back? That's the real question. So we'll talk about that a little bit in the end of the video. Looking forward into today. And last thing for fodder, Team of the Weeks. Team of the Weeks are starting to be invested in because people think that the replacement SBC for the 8220 is going to be something better that will require Team of the Weeks this time. So Team of the Weeks were down at 24, 25K. They're now up to 26 to 27. A lot of investors going in there. It's going to all depend on a multiple time repeatable SBC today coming out to see if those rise. Now, before we talk about today's content, there is one last thing to cover from yesterday. And it was this from EA. EA yesterday basically confirmed that they acknowledged that they messed up with Schneider and Yaya Toure and those fantasy FC hero upgrades last week on Wednesday or actually this earlier this week on Wednesday. It wasn't that long ago. They said items have since been updated and players who obtained those cards while the incorrect leagues were listed will be sent their coins back in the coming days. Guys, EA has actually gone and done it. I mean, you maybe we talked about it in the video a couple of days ago uh, that EA had made the situation happen because they changed the leagues on Yaya Toure. They, they messed it up. They made him Premier League instead of the La Liga. Same thing with Schneider, right? He was Eredivisie instead of La Liga as well. And now you have everybody who bought Yaya Toure or Schneider when their leagues were messed up. If you bought a Prem Yaya or a Eredivisie Schneider, in that three or four hour window when it was messed up, whatever you did with the card, if you still have it or if you sold it, whatever you paid for that card is what this tweet is saying. Whatever you paid for that card, EA is going to give you the coins back. So basically you're getting, in the case of Yaya Toure, when he was 3 million coins, when his nation changed, right? You're getting 3 million coins, just boom, added to your account. Super easy. You know, they're just going to appear in the coming days whenever this happens. This is going to impact the market like crazy, okay? Um, it's going to impact the market like nuts. There is going to be so much even further inflation. I feel like there's a whole nother video that we need to make about this, guys, and talk about what is going to be going on with the whole fantasy FC hero situation and what this is going to do to impact the market because it's going to be, whenever this happens, you're going to notice a big change um, in really expensive cards on this market. Prices are going to go up because it's going to put a whole lot of coins out there that people are going to be able to go and use to either buy fodder or to buy cards for for their teams that they want that they were not able to afford before and it's going to push the ultra top tier meta and the top tier cards in this game up in my opinion so i think that deserves a whole other different video and i think we have a couple days to talk about it which we will um but i want to cover that uh, either on this channel or on the second channel because that deserves a whole video in itself with that situation and, and everything that's going on there but that is that is what this tweet was about yesterday is that ea is going to be sending coins back to people who bought those cards when they were messed up on the market now let's tune into today's content and what is happening today on saturday uh, as i double check and make sure that i have uh not to, i don't need to list up my mudrick right now because this is a very time sensitive trade because he is rare he is 854 and the next one is 850 i mean mudrick could very easily be a million coins there's so much hype for this car. 97 pace is nuts 91 dribbling this is the skills version too I'm probably not going to risk it and if, see, I'll see if this 854 sells and then if the eight, oh yeah, there's an 850 here too. All right. I'll watch both of those. If both of those sell, I'll probably list the 850 and just take my hundred uh, K up price there. But what's happening today on Saturday, it's going to make things move. Well, another SBC, right? We get the daily SBCs. EA told us what we're getting for an SBC today, guys. It's a big name. It really is. Karchawi is coming today as a twin SBC. So, of course, we're guessing one five-star skills, the other five-star weak foot. 
That's a massive SBC. Again, Chameni, Ribéry, Karchawi, all French, but also massive. Karchawi has a team of the year card and is definitely one of the best left backs in this game. I know what you also might be thinking. Goodness gracious, I don't need another left back to try and go do an SBC for. I've got so many left backs, right? And I feel you on that, 100%. But we're getting another one today, guys. And it is Karchawi with the PSG links, D1 Arkema links as well. Um... I don't know how expensive this is going to be, but it's going to be a good card. Like, if you think about all the other cards that have gotten a foot birthday that also had a team of the year, like I think of Messi straight away and Kevin De Bruyne, both of those cards are really good. Not as good as their team of the years, but I think we're looking at a card Chowie today that could very easily be 92 rated. Like, we've got this 95 rated version. Her other one's an 88. This could be a 90 or a 92 rated, maybe 91, somewhere in the 90 to 92 range card Chowie today. That's going to be a really nuts card. It's going to be insane. Um, and one of them is going to be five-star skills. One's going to be five-star weak foot. So that is coming today. It's going to be, again, a card that's probably good enough to fit into your team. It's going to be a little pricey, I would have to imagine. So we'll just have to see where EA price it and what that does. But this team of the year card, Chowie, is down big time. And other left backs could fall further today. Like, watch out for left backs. I know they've been so mudded recently. We had the Grimaldo that was a great low-budget option that sent players like this Lizarazu, who's up right now in some late-night rarity. But Lizarazu on Wednesday was 720,000 coins. And uh, yesterday, he was as low as 560. There's a hint. Good card to trade with Lizarazu from 560 to 620. But I wouldn't be buying him most likely today until he drops off a lot more because of the card shall that is coming out. So that's our player SBC today. That's something to watch out for. And then, of course, what really matters for a lot of the gameplay and for the craftability of the menus this week is what replaces this. What's going to replace the 82 times 20? I hope it's the 84 5 or the 8310. Those are the two best upgrade packs that we have. One squad requirement, whether there's an inform or not, I'm not investing in informs. That's not something I have time for this weekend that I want to follow. If there is an inform requirement and it's a multiple time repeatable upgrade pack, then informs will probably go up. And that's why people are heavily investing. I totally understand that. Um, I hope it's an 84.5 though, because I need those 84s and above, right? There's so many 84, 85 rated squads to craft right now. It's just harder to do so with the 82 times 20. So fingers crossed that we get that SBC today and that it's a very cheap and good uh, gamble pack and player pick that we can, or not a player pick, but a pack that we can rinse what we get from player picks in other upgrade packs into that. So I'm hoping for that today. Um, maybe watch your 83s or 4s if it's like an 84 squad with an inform. We'll see. Who knows what it could be whether it's the 8310, 845, or the re-release of this, which I think would be the least favorite option if it is this re-release. Also, more Evos. We have a pretty massive Evo leak right now, a 5-star, five 5-star five evolution that actually fits some really insane players. It's definitely going to be paid, guys, with these sorts of requirements. Max shooting 94, max dribbling 92. The kicker is max physicality 78. That's going to be a bit tough, and... You can't already have above a four-star weak foot or three-star skills and only one playstyle plus. So it is a little bit limiting, but I think the upgrade that this gives, uh, it doesn't say anything about a playstyle plus or anything like that, but the upgrade that this gives for the 5-5 five five is pretty crazy. And probably one of the most hyped cards that you see in this graphic who would fit the requirements of this Evo would be Road to the Final Tella. Um, like, can you imagine this Tele card with an even bigger boost going to like 99 pace, five star, five star with very high dribbling and high 80s, maybe even close to 90s shooting and passing. And of course, five star, five star and links to the Grimaldo that just came out. This could be a really nuts card. And that's why he is up a ton in price. Yesterday, he went from 70, 80K all the way to 130. The Evo didn't come out. He's back down at 90. This could be today, this Evo. It also could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it could be in the next couple of days. So invest at your own risk if you do want to do that, because this is a card that could very easily rise up further in the hype of the Evo. But also, I mean, what did we learn from last week? Remember people buying up the Rodrigo inform for the Evo and stuff like that? Selling in the hype is key. Again, Alejandro uh, Grimaldo is another, uh, or not Grimaldo, Garnacho. Alejandro Garnacho is another player that fits this Evo based off his inform. His inform is up a lot in price. But again, you want to sell on the hype unless you're trying to do the Evo for your club. Uh, this could just be, it could be a big one. And I think there's a couple cards in my club that would maybe fit this that would potentially want to put into that Evo to then upgrade. And that could be really, really nice. But I'm hoping that that drops today. I'm hoping a really good card Chowie drops today. 
this Mudrick. None of these have sold yet. I did pick up a Marquinhos um, on a really low bid, 625. That's the best price I've gotten for him in ages. He's like a 700 a 70, 780k card, which is usually where I sell him. Hopefully, he can go up a little bit today with the Karchawi SBC coming out, but we'll have to see. Guys, I'm really in a trading grind at the moment. I've been doing less packs, honestly, just because with all the success with trading that I've had in the past couple of days, it's just it's motivated me um, to try to make more coins, which is just kind of adding to the coin stash um, as we get closer and closer to team of the season and you need a lot of coins for team of the season to do more upgrade packs and that's really motivating me at the moment so we're going to keep trying to go with that kind of keep moving with that this uh raul card is really rare and he looks cracked so i don't know maybe we'll flip him maybe we won't gotta get a good price but that's kind of what's motivating motivating me at the moment on the menus is not even as much the craft in the sbcs but the trading because it's so good because not a lot of people are doing it which actually makes it a lot better so watch out for good trade opportunities this weekend as well good fluctuations and maybe a potential investment opportunity on some of that fodder and some of the team of the weeks depending on what sbc we get today so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the see you guys in the video tomorrow peace